Now, what we have to understand is the stability of fats before we can ever understand a natural trans fat and an artificial trans fat. Because if you stick with me through the entirety of this video, I'm going to give you some research that breaks down that naturally occurring trans fats are actually very good. It's just the artificial trans fats that we have to be aware of. And the science is pretty earth shattering. These natural trans fats are known as ruminant fats. And although we don't get a whole lot of them from the diet, they're actually very, very powerful. And research is showing that they're more than just powerful. They're exceptionally beneficial to reducing the risk of heart disease and diabetes. If you follow Thomas DeLauer and you believe he is a credible source of information about health and nutrition, you need to see this video. Because when we are talking about something as serious as trans fat, it could literally be a matter of life and death. This is probably one of the most dangerous and irresponsible health claims you're going to see. And I'm going to show you exactly why. After we scratch the surface, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, let's go. And here's a study that really backs up what is going on and why it makes such a big difference. This study was published by the Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Sciences out of the University of Alberta in Canada. This is about to get heavy, so stay with me. These are the references he lists for this video. The second one is a press release about the trans fat studies out of the University of Alberta. This study was published by the Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Sciences out of the University of Alberta in Canada. And what it did is it took a look at vaccinic acid, one of the most prevalent natural trans fats. And it took a look at subjects that were gonna consume vaccinic acid for three weeks versus vaccinic acid for 16 weeks. And then they give them an enriched diet that had a little bit more of this vaccinic acid than would normally be present. And what they found is after an extended period of time of consuming these natural trans fats, the risk of heart disease and diabetes and other metabolic disorders dramatically was reduced. Why? The press release he references confirms these are the vaccinic acid studies he's talking about with three week and 16 week duration. He conveniently left out that they were not human studies but rather conducted on genetically modified rats bred for obesity and metabolic syndrome. And it took a look at subjects that were gonna consume vaccinic acid for three weeks versus vaccinic acid for 16 weeks. Subjects, subjects, subjects. Don't you think it's a little bit misleading to describe rats as subjects, meanwhile, not mentioning it's a rodent model study and not a human study? But also, it's important we don't dismiss this study solely on the basis of being a rat model, as rodent studies were a key stepping stone in the historical development of our understanding of heart disease. If you do some digging, you'll find the press release he's referencing is actually about two separate studies. Now that we've established what studies he's talking about, let's listen to the why and then take a look at the relevancy of these studies. Why? Well, scientists found that it had something to do with what are known as chylomicrons. And chylomicrons are starting to make a bigger impact in the world of fat research right now anyway. But chylomicrons are small particles of fat that never get digested. Chylomicrons? Okay. So he's talking about the longer of the two studies. The 16-week study which examines the effect of vicinic acid on chylomicrons in these genetically modified rats. If you want to learn more about the metabolic purpose of the specific rats used in this study, pause and read this slide. One of the most important points I can make about this study is that the vicinic acid was derived from vegetable oil, not animal products. So if he's trying to convince you that trans fats found in animal products and naturally occurring therein are somehow not harmful or perhaps even have these monstrous benefit, earth-shattering benefits for reducing heart disease risk and diabetes risk. The, the oil that they're using in the study is derived from vegetables. It's not even from an animal source, okay? Not only that, but in order to get these rats to present with such dramatic reductions in triglycerides and chylomicrons, the researchers were injecting isolated vicinic acid emulsion directly into the rat's intestines after sealing that emulsion off from air, flushing it with nitrogen, and protecting it from exposure to light. And the science is pretty earth shattering. And the science is pretty earth shattering. Does this sound like it has any relevance to the way you eat food? By the way, when the funding of the study 
looks like this, are you surprised when the press release reads like this? And then 10 years later, we've got Bro Science Bodybuilder summarizing this research with the following Confusionist narrative. You see, it's less about the LDL, the HDL, and all of that nonsense, and more about the chylomicrons and the particles of fat combined with inflammation through an unhealthy lifestyle that truly leads to coronary artery disease and some of these other issues that we're facing. So it's not just about the cholesterol and what you hear and all the saturated fats. It's about how we actually process things. And natural trans fats that are biohydrogenated have some of the bacterial component to help break down those chylomicrons or at least reduce the impact of them. So now you have an understanding of trans fats. Let's connect the dots a little better with some of the more notable human research so you're not left in the dark. This first study gets a lot of play in the plant-based community. This study sought to evaluate the risk of death and various diseases based on various types of trans fats, both industrial and naturally occurring. The study included over 70,000 men and women. The authors concluded that trans fat intake, irrespective of source, increases cardiovascular disease risk. Basically, eating trans fat increases your risk of heart disease regardless of whether or not it was from an industrial source or naturally occurring in meat and dairy products. That being said, the risk may not be equal for both and there is some more research that touches on this topic. This research summarizes many of the largest observational studies comparing industrial sourced trans fats to the naturally occurring ruminant trans fats found in meat and dairy. You can pause this slide and compare the different risk associations between the two. I think it's important to note that the researchers can minimize the risk of ruminant trans fats by adjusting the risk for the intake of saturated fat. But it's important to note that you can't separate these variables from the actual food on your plate because food is a package deal. The authors of this study recognize this as a limitation. This last study is a well-known randomized control trial conducted on humans. We've come a long way from injecting vicinic acid emulsion into genetically modified rat intestines, don't you think? One of the notable characteristics of this trial is that the subjects were young and relatively healthy with average baseline total cholesterol of 166 and LDL under 100. Perhaps not as good as if they had been eating whole foods plant-based diets at baseline, but this is generally a very different lipid profile than what we would see in people eating low-carb diets based on animal products. This study showed that a high intake of naturally occurring ruminant trans fats may lead to deleterious changes in lipid cardiovascular disease risk factors similar to those that have been attributed to trans fats from industrial sources. But it's not that cut and dry because the high intake in this study contained more ruminant trans fats than what you could expect to naturally be obtained from diet. The researchers also concluded that moderate consumption of these naturally occurring trans fats did not have the same effect on cardiovascular disease risk factors. Several of the authors of this study have declared their affiliation with the dairy industry. At least now you've got a taste of some of the trans fat research as it relates to humans, especially the difference between industrial sourced trans fats and naturally occurring ruminant trans fats. Are any of you surprised by the sensational spin Thomas DeLauer provides his audience in this case to try to downplay the risks of naturally occurring trans fats? Do you think I missed the ball on this one? If you think I missed something, feel free to go through the meager references he provides to make his case. I know he puts some good information out. But this seems extremely irresponsible, if not dangerous. In light of what I've shown you in this video, you should be questioning the accuracy of his other claims and asking yourself where his other blind spots are. Regardless of his intent, 
This kind of sensational whitewashing of science has the effect of confusing and stifling the general public. These natural trans fats are known as ruminant fats, and although we don't get a whole lot of them from the diet, they're actually very, very powerful. And research is showing that they're more than just powerful, they're exceptionally beneficial to reducing the risk of heart disease and diabetes. This is what I call a fad diet trap. It's a health narrative that crumbles under scrutiny and could cost you a lot more than just the price you pay at the grocery store if you are unfortunate enough to follow along without following up. So if you want to follow up, perhaps head over to Thomas's video and let him know what you think. If you want to avoid getting caught head first in other fad diet traps, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see why I labeled Thomas DeLauer and many others the worst of the food industry. Red Pill Vegan, next. What they found is after an extended period of time of consuming these natural trans fats, the risk of heart disease and diabetes and other metabolic disorders dramatically was reduced.